Okay, so here you are. You click on Tools. You don't see it. You click on this double arrow to make your full menu appear. And you don't see Data Analysis. What can you do? Well, what you do is you go to Add-ins. I know this looks like Add INS, but it's really Add-ins. You click on that, and a dialog box will appear. Yours may look a little different than this, depending on the version of Excel you have. But it will have a list with, with these boxes where you can put check marks. Now, all you need to do to get data analysis is put a check mark by the one that says Analysis Tool Pack. Now, this one that says Analysis Tool Pack VBA is not the one we want. If it's already checked on your computer, leave it checked. If it's not checked on your computer, leave it unchecked. The only one we're concerned with is the one that says Analysis Tool Pack, but does not have the VBA after it. So you put a check mark here. Now, normally you can just press OK, but sometimes Excel might ask you to put in your CD. You may have to put in the CD that Office, Microsoft Office came in or that Microsoft Excel came in into your computer because it may need it. Um, we'll just check and see. I'm, mine won't need it because I've already had it installed before. So now when I go up to Tools, we'll see Data Analysis is there. should be at the bottom of the list. And I'll click on Data Analysis. And here's a bunch of functions that the computer can do automatically for us. There's ANOVA, ANOVA two-factor, ANOVA two-factor without replication, correlation, covariance, descriptive statistics. And it has this long list of things. And I can use this elevator button to go down, t-test, z-test for two sample means. So all of these things can be done automatically using Excel. And we will be using this throughout the course. This will be a very useful tool. It can take a problem that if you were to do by hand, it might take you four or five hours. And with Excel, it will take you two or three minutes at most. So once you've got your data already entered. So Excel is a very useful tool. It will save you a lot of work. And this data analysis tool is something you definitely should install on your computer. I'll press cancel here. There are a couple other things I want to show you before we end this lesson. And that's at the very bottom of the page. If we look down here, you'll see that it says Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3. Let me go in for a close-up of those. Let's do a, let's do a close-up view. In this case, we can see this is the bottom of our worksheet. Here it says Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3. And on Sheet 1, it has, in this case, I've put this information. Sheet 2 is like a different page in the same file. Just like in a Word file, you may have many different pages. In an Excel, you may have many different sheets. Sheet 1 is a page that has this information. If I click on 2, that has this information on it. If I click on 3, it says, Hi, from your old Uncle Frank. That's me. Hi. Anyway, so each page can have different information on it. You can add more sheets by going up to Insert and clicking on Add Worksheet. Or you can delete worksheets by going up to Edit and clicking Delete Entire Sheet. You can also rename these sheets. to be uh, if, if you don't remember what's on Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3, you could instead give them names that would remind you of what's in them. In this case, I might want to call this one Critical Care. So what I'll do is I will right-click on it. Now, that's normally we use our left mouse button. But in this case, we want to click on it with our right mouse button, and we'll get a menu. And in this case, it'll say Insert. By the way, I could insert another worksheet page right from here. I could delete the worksheet page right from here. Or we could rename the worksheet, which is what I want to do here. So I'm going to click on this, and this becomes highlighted. And I'm going to call this, uh, oh, I'll call this trauma. Maybe this is a trauma room. So T-R-A-U-M-A. 
a comma. Did I do that right? So, I could now click on sheet 2 and I could give that another name. Oh, just for the fun of it, maybe I'll call this one problem 2. So, I'll come up here, say rename, and I'll say maybe P2. This will give me a I better idea of what's on the sheet rather than just sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. I can also move these sheets around. All I do to move them around, say I want trauma at the end, is I left click on it and hold my mouse button down and then I just move it over and let go and now it's here but I wanted it at the end so I'll move it here so I can rearrange these sheets any way I want in any order I want with no problem at all and I can give them whatever names I want I can get rid of sheets or I can add sheets and when I save this as a file they'll all get saved in the same file so this is a very useful thing to do is you have one file, maybe for your midterm, that has problem one, problem two, problem three, or whatever problems you want. And you can have a separate page for each problem. One last thing I want to leave you with uh, before we end this lesson. And that's how to do simple uh, arithmetic functions or use operands. Simple arithmetic operations. Let's like addition, division, exponents. Addition, you just use a plus sign. So I might do uh, an equal 5 plus 6, hit enter, and it should say 11. For division, let's say equal sign 6, and then the division button, which is just a slash, divided by 3, which should be 2, and it is. Now, the exponent is when you want to square something or move it to the third power. Let's do something to the third power. This time we put an equal sign, a 2, and then a caret, which is shift 6. Looks like a little up arrow. And then uh, 3. And this should be 2 to the third power, which should be 8. We can do multiplication. That we've already done once. So just equal sign, we'll put in 2, and then an asterisk, which is shift 8, and then 3, and then hit enter, and this should be 6. We can do a percent. Let's say we do 2 percent. Whoops, I forgot the equal sign. Equal sign, 2 uh, percent, press enter, and that's what 2 percent would look like. And for subtraction, uh, let's do equal sign 5 minus, which looks like a, a hyphen, 4, and then press enter. And that's how you do simple arithmetic uh, operations on Excel. So that's it for this lesson. The next lessons will show you how to do more specific problems. Thank you very much.